Oh, champions. Welcome back. It's 2023. Oh, it's been a good break. I hope you've had a good Christmas holiday uh, today. Really keen. First thrift of 2023. And look, it's been nearly two months since I've done a thrift video. Done some garage sales, done some other stuff, but I haven't actually been thrifting much lately. So uh, really excited today. And I've got a special guest joining me. So I'm really pumped for him to get here. Um, but yeah, it's been a good break. A couple of weeks off. I've done some cool shit. I have done a bit of a thrift. I just haven't filmed it. I've picked up some good stuff. Um, probably going to touch base on that a little bit more in my next video. Today I'm going to focus on this thrift, whatever may come of it. Uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. But anyway, it's going to be a fun day because this bloke's an absolute champion. So um, he'll be here in about 15, 20 minutes. So I better go and get ready and we'll hit up a birth thrift. Good morning, Coco. Today's adventures are joined. G'day, guys. With Pat. What's going on, mate? Thanks for having me. You're going to go thrifting. Thanks for coming, mate. Looking nice. forward to it. We're going to hit up a few of the locals. Let's get into it. from a game. Borders game. Dark Alliance game. She's a bit beat. 50 bucks. It's going to stay there. But pretty cool to see that first stop today. Any luck through here, mate? Nah, not much. Yeah, struggling. It's the main stuff you're looking for, DVDs. It's like my bread and butter, but it's pretty boring. Um, video games, I, I like old toys, kind of like this, so probably the bit similar stuff. Um, just anything that's interesting. I don't know, it just catches my eye. Yeah, so I'm mainly on eBay really, and I do uh, mainly media, so DVDs, um, video games, if we can find them, uh, do some books. He you found something? Yeah, here's a guy right. Did see those. So... Yeah, two sets of Bible books. Um, looks like for maybe five volumes of that set, you can get maybe a hundred bucks on eBay. Yeah, actually not. Um, I've got to do double checking, but I think it's a few hundred dollars worth of got you there. Sweet. Don't know how you feel about some Bible stuff, but I don't mind doing it. Don't worry, me, mate. <laughs> and this guy, we were made in Australia plush, so. Yeah, brother. Um, made in China, but. Australian brand, you do okay. Sweet. Well, you're doing all right. Yeah, there's a clothes rack there, mate. Yeah, that's not <laughs> too late, though. Yeah, that's yeah, sweet. No, I've got no issues with selling that sort of stuff. I mean, it's no different to the rest of the books. There's a fictional character in there. That... <laughs> it's collectibles, toys, a bit of everything. So, yeah, pretty broad range, but uh, focus mainly on the DVDs and video games. It's probably about 70%. Yeah, beautiful. All the fun stuff, the fun stuff that we like. The fun stuff to find, yeah. And you are full-time? Yeah, full-time, yeah. So full-time starting last year, so yeah, it's been good. It's been an interesting ride, and we're sort of building as we go, but full-time, yeah. Love it. fun. If you do want to check out what Pat gets up to, I will drop a link below. Go over and check him out. He's on Instagram. What is it? Bosch Finds. Bosch. 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 Finds. Bosch. 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 Comfy little kids chair. So really, you look like an idiot, not me. Okay, here we go. We're going from, did you hear some oh. cracking, Kathleen? Some high five stuff is collectible. I'll probably flip this one locally. Now, so we're two in. Little CD player here. The black ones seem to go for 40, 50 bucks. So $10 on that. Pink should go better. The Akubra belt there for five bucks. Hugo Boss jeans and the high five. There we go, we got Jup Jup and that oh, other little jump. bitch. So that's uh, that's a beauty. How'd you go, mate? What do you got there? Uh, I mean, I just got some bread and butter DVDs. So we got the uh, the Chaplin Modern Times. It's brand new sealed. Maybe 20 bucks on that one. These are just some classic films. And this is an Aussie TV show. Maybe 10, 15 on these ones. So just some cheapies, but Beautiful. 
Helps us something. Talk. That's something, mate. We uh, we didn't get nothing at that first one, so nice to get the ball rolling. So uh, we'll go over down the road here and hit the next one. Some Tonka stuff goes really well, but I'm leaving this here just based on condition. We all love some brats. Four bucks a Duna cover. I should get 30 out of this. Will I? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, it's not dated. That is cool. Cool. I fit two cans in that. <laughs> well, this thing I've got about fifteen of them. They go well. Yeah, I've, I've just, just wasted one. Bundle. Similar to that. But I just keep buying them. I keep selling them to South America. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah, a lot of my toys go international. Yeah, they're good. Those Harry Trinity dragons. Yeah. I, I got a bag of them for six bucks. It was like five of them in there. I reckon I've sold. Yeah, three of them for about 35, 40 each. Yeah, perfect. Just the usual op shop shit. Taking over the world, mate. That's pretty cool if it works. Oh. It's worth about 70 bucks. Yeah, that's it. But, um,. It might just be good for my kids. What is it? Leapfrog one. The leapfrog one. I think you can just... Yeah, I guess it tells you facts and things. I'm not really sure. Yeah, that's sick. Good find. If it works. If it works. It might be something like that. Not a huge lover of shoes, but there's some footy boots here, and I do love flipping footy boots, so I'm going to grab those bad boys. Uh, and there's also some older-looking Converse here. I don't know exactly, but I'm going to give it a crack. A little bit of damage, but should be okay. So what do you say there, mate? A few goodies? It's a globe. globe. It's a leapfrog globe, which, um, if it works, it's worth about 70 bucks. And if it doesn't work, then uh, I can go straight back to the up shop. <laughs> And then we got some DVDs and some uh, books. These my life as books by Bill Myers. They should bundle up okay. And then the DVDs are 15 to 25 bucks each. So not, not a bad little stuff. Yeah, shit on. That's good. I'm not doing that great. A pair of jeans and a couple of pair of shoes. Uh, but at least it's something. So we're going to move over to the best side of town and see if we can finally hit a grail. Uh, there's been nothing crazy yet, but fingers crossed. It's early in the year too, which I think's. It's all bread and butter so far. Yeah. Um, it's alright, you can't complain with Brent, but we want to grail to show you guys, so let's let's get over and try it. So the hunt for a grail wasn't looking good with a $40 karaoke machine here that had been left out in the rain and full of water. But it wasn't as wet as some of the babe collectors would be right now because I have a heap of VHS here, but things did get a little bit better. The Bakugan. A little hard case here of figures. There's 27 in there, and that stuff goes really well for me. And it's a high five sort of a day. One, two, three, four. High five. We've got the sealed party supplies, which I think I can get about 40 to 50 out of this. So pretty happy. And then in the expensive cupboard, they also had a little camera here for eight bucks, and it comps out at a hundred if it's working. So pretty happy with that. And to make things even better, I had 17 bucks on my loyalty card. Seventeen seventy, if you want to use it. Uh, yeah, might as well. Thank you. Two bucks. Good condition too. It's probably worthwhile. Hell yeah. Who's looking for a Daihatsu charade manual? Someone will be maybe. Yeah. Oh, they go well. They're usually covered in bloody oil and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a freshie. No idea what this shit is, but eBay tells me that it has sold for $45 and this one's only five bucks. So I'm going to grab it, give it a go. So we are not totally satisfied with what's been provided to us in the op shops in Ballarat. So we're actually hitting the highway and heading out to Dalesford. There's three op shops out there, a couple of second hand stores, and then the big mill market. So hopefully that's where we will hit some grails. How are you traveling, mate? Are you, are you happy with your find so far? I'm happy enough, but I could be happier, I think. Um, 
got some decent bread and butter stuff that'll just go in the store, but it's nothing that really gets the, the blood pumping or the heart racing. So we're hoping to find some of those vintage teas, some of those old toys, maybe video games, but yeah, hopefully Dalesford's got the goods. We'll see. Yeah, we're gonna cross the fingers, cross the ball bag, and hopefully <laughs> find the goods. So let's get out there. Oh, so a nice little parcel. Been expecting a few t-shirts. Gonna quickly rip into them and have a look. All right, here we go. Stone cold, just a bit windy. The hard way. That's an absolute beauty on the Highland tag. It's just a basic Y2K Grateful Dead. I think it was probably 80 bucks in that one. Got an older Harley here. It's uh, the single dingle, if you can see that, Harley Davidson. It's a beauty. It's probably my favourite of the lot. We've got NWO, Sting. Second time I've owned that shirt now. That's right, this is cool. This is, I don't do a lot of sports stuff, but uh, it is a single stitch, but I think that is a Y2K. All made in the USA, Salem, so it might be 90s. Let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure. Don't do a lot of the American sports. This one's pretty cool. Fred Flintstone, another single dingle. 94. Tina Tina. That's the toy shirt there, the World Tour 87. A beautiful t-shirt, a bit hard to see with this sun. That's quite cool too. You'll have a print in the neighborhood. We've got Taz and Bugs there. Uh, what's that, the Warner Brothers 94. So, some nice shirts there. Probably might even wear that one. I like that. Very good. It's nice. Yeah. Keep it. Here's something to show you in case we don't get nothing in the op shop. But right, let's go to the op shops and have a look. Yeah. There's like a couple of bucks each. Thought I was onto something here with this bloody print, but it's a modern guild and peaches, bit small. I'm gonna leave that there. Did find this little desk lamp. And I thought I was onto something. I was trying to comp it out, but old love in the window here was giving me a bit of cheek. I don't know what she was on about, but anyway. It seemed like she was having a good day anyway, which is what it's all about, isn't it? Good on her. The lamp actually did comp out pretty well, but I did find a little crack in the glass up the top. So sadly I left it behind. So now it's on to check out a few of these second hand stores. And this is a little vintage bazaar here in Dalesford. So much cool stuff here. Definitely worth checking it out if you love your collectibles. We had a little bit of fun here and I did get some cards, but I'll show you just a little bit here before we head off to get the big bangers at the mill market. Booksellers will be getting boners right now. Looking at this. This isn't real safe. Every time I take a step, the whole thing wobbles and creaks. It feels like it's going to go through the floor. Unless that bloody bear's going at me, or I don't know. This joint's massive, absolutely massive, and there's two floors just full of books. 
So if you are a book, oh, what's going on there? If you are a book lover and you're not in a wheelchair, uh, maybe come and check this joint out. It's really, really cool. Mate, time for some food. And a frothy. <laughs> Little bakery stop. And that's all we've really got out here at Dalesford. Yeah. I did get some cards though. So I'm going to do a bit of a, uh, a break later on. The Universal and the Ghostbusters still has the Chewy in it. Uh, how old are these? 1989. So this is as old as I am. Wonder if it's as fresh as I am. I'm going to taste that later. If I get to 200 likes on this video, I'll taste that in the next one, all right? Deal. What did you get, mate? Mate, I got a, got a pair of socks. <laughs> um, we came all the way to Dalesford and we got some um, Australian made Target socks, so. <laughs> some old socks and some 33 year old Chewy. We're winning! Probably sums up the day, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's been dry as fuck. <laughs> but we're gonna go to the mill market out here at Dalesford and hopefully get something good or at least see something good because, look, we've got a few things in the boot, but we're not overly happy about it. I've got the burps going from that pie. So let's go over the mill market and stink that out. Let's go. A few little record pickups. Kylie does quite well for me. Uh, Res. Someone was selling that for about 80 bucks overseas. I paid 15 for it. Some Dr. Hook just bundles up good for me. Uh, Abba, not a great one, but uh, you still get 25, 30 on that. This one, I couldn't find nothing on it. I have no fucking clue who that creepy looking bastard is, but usually uh, unique is good. And Hopefully I don't get pinned for that, but there's some tits there, Super Tramp, and a bit of Kylie. Put those tits away, Kylie. <laughs> I didn't know if you had her chest tattoo. <laughs> so a few little record pickups there, which I'm pretty happy with. And also, Paddy has been an absolute legend and rolled up with gifts. And he said there was some vinyl in here, so I've got no idea what's in here. So I'm going to crack into this quickly too. So thank you, mate. I really no, do appreciate all. this. Uh, let's take out. see what we've got. Oh, some ZZ Top. I like ZZ Top. All right, beauty. That's a good start. Why don't you want these, mate? You don't like selling them? Yeah, just not really my thing. I okay. pick them up when I see them, but... Yep. Oh, a black oak Arkansas. I don't know anything about that one. No, me either. It looks cool. It does. It looks, uh, looks a bit of glam. Uh, mental as anything, greatest hits. It's a classic. That's a beauty. All right, there's some good stuff in here, mate. What you got? The late, great Tim Buckley. Uh, Jim Buckley. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a poster you spoke of. That's oh, it's a sexy boy. That's going straight up in the shed. Look at that. It's a double cider. The Heartbreak Kid. Sure, Michael. Well, that's awesome, man. Cheers. Yeah, I thought you might like that one. Fucking okay. It's a beauty. That'll, uh... God, there's a lot in here, buddy. We've got... A dragon. I have sold a couple of dragon ones for okay money in the past. A Santana. Got some bangers. Fucking hell! Yeah, this is the one. That's I, a banger. I warned you about. <laughs> well, uh, what? You can't give me that. No, that's, that's a hundred and fifty dollar record. It has got a bit of condition issue. That's so. a hot. That's still. That's uh. That's first pressing. That's first. Yeah, it's first run. It's a little bit 
little bit scratch. That's still a hundred dollars every day. Makes some, <laughs> makes some money. <laughs> that is a hundred dollars right there. Thank you, mate. No worries. I uh, I feel guilty accepting no. this. We got more. Got the eagles. Shit. This is unreal. Status. The status quo. The oldies will be frothing on this. Jesus, this is another fucking banger. What's that one? Skyhooks, that's Skyhooks. like another $80 record. I think it's a double, yeah, it's a double. And that's like 80 bucks every day. I think I sold that one only a few weeks ago. Nice. Can't believe you're giving these away. Holy shit, another classic. Fleetwood. Stevie's gonna get a run at our joint, that's a good album, that. No, it's a classic album, that a run on yeah, the Yeah, that's a beaut. Ah, uh, bat out of hell. Holy shit, brother. Yeah, here. No, there's another one. And we also have another Skyhook. Skyhook stuff sells so good. It's like really hot right now. I don't know why. Someone might have died. Is Red still going? Pretty sure he's still going. I think Red's still Hasn't going. Hasn't got the gong yet. No. <laughs> it was tasteless and vulgar. Pretty much everything this show stands for. <laughs> I like it. No, thank you very much, mate. I appreciate that. That's, yeah, that's uh, right. That is very, very generous. So there's a bunch of records there. We're going to put that straight under our record player because there's a few of my favourite albums. And that ACDC, Fleetwood, I like that. So thank you very much, mate. Appreciate nice. it. Enjoy. I always wanted to say this. What's going on, Coco? Uh, thanks for having me on the video, Judda. I just dropped in for a few minutes. Uh, to share what I found on our day of thrifting. Uh, we had a ripping day out. Uh, didn't find any magic rails or anything. No, no spectacular finds. Just some good bread and butter stuff to fill the booth. So I'll just show you a few things I found. Uh, I'm obviously a bit of a, a media DVD guy. So uh, that's what I go to first in the op shops. Did find a you know, decent stack of stuff. So got a bit of a stack there. Bit of a mixture of titles. Uh, some of it I've sold before, some I haven't, so it looks like a mixture of sort of ten dollars to twenty-five dollars for these. No big heavy hitters, just good, good sort of bread and butter store stuff. Did find a charade manual, the uh, 1980 to 1993 edition. Uh, Gregory's manuals tend to do pretty well. This one I expect to sell for about twenty-five bucks. Cost me two dollars, so might as well pick that up. I uh, also found the Australian made vintage walking socks from Target, 100% uh, cotton, brand new for the new old stock. These things surprisingly will do okay on, on eBay. Somebody out there, this is probably their favourite their favorite walking socks and they can't find them anymore. So fingers crossed they, they find them on my store and then pick them up. So they might even go overseas, so it's pretty good. Uh, best finds of the day for me would be, I found a Leapfrog Globe, which uh, if I was to sell it, it would be about a $70 item, but I probably will keep that one just for the kids. Uh, it's good to have a globe, you can learn a bit about the world. And in terms of profit, the best thing I found, I found a couple of sets of books that were children's Bible stories. It looks like each set goes for around about $100 on eBay. And uh, I paid $7 a set, so that should be a pretty good pretty good return on those. But most of all, I didn't find anything crazy, but just had a really, really fun day. Uh, just going all around Ballarat and Dalesford with, with Judda. Big thank you to Judda for, for having me, for taking me, showing me all the sites and uh, all the best spots, and uh, having me on the video, I had a ball. So make sure if you if you enjoy the video, make sure you, you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Always wanted to say that too. And stay tuned for the next video. And big thank you to Jono. Thanks, guys.